Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a fall makeup look for you guys and I wanted to do something different because I always do bronze and gold eyes on my channel. So I just wanted to do a olive green smoky eye for my first fall look on my channel. I really hope you guys like the look that I came up with. All products used in today's video will be listed in the description box down below just in case you are interested in what a particular product is. But like always, I'm going to try to mention every product that I use in the video. Don't forget that when my channel reaches 1,000 subscribers, I will be having a giveaway. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this olive green smoky eye, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, first I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And then I'm just going to add a really thin layer of my MAC Paint Pot and lay low. Alright, to set all that in place, I'm going to be using my Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Transparent. And going into my first, you know, my only transition color, I'm going to be using Saddle by Matte. And I'm just blending and, and, and I'm just applying this color right above the crease. Alright, next up we're going to be going into my Nubian 2 palette by Julia's Place. And I'm going to take the shade Morocco and I'm just going to put that shade right on top of Saddle. Alright, next up, going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow, I'm going to take the shade Hot Chocolate and I'm going to put this directly in the crease. Focusing more of that color on the outer V and as I have this product on my brush, I'm just going to take it, drag it all the way into the crease. Alright, next up I'm going to be adding a base so that my shadows will show up a lot a lot more vibrantly and I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Black Beauty. So I'm just going to apply this and I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Alright, next up going back into the Nubian 2 palette, I'm going to be taking this really pretty olive green shade which is Egypt and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And I did wet my brush with some big Plus. Alright, next up I'm going to be taking a pointed crease brush and I'm going to blend out the edges to make sure there are no harsh edges and I just like using a pointed crease brush because it helps me get in the inner corners a lot easier. Now I'm going to be picking up hot chocolate again just to help me blend out those harsh lines. All 
Alright, next I'm using another Anastasia Beverly Hills single shadow. I'm gonna be using the shade Noir. And this is just a matte black shadow. This is one of my favorite matte black shadows. And I'm just going to place this shadow in the outer V. Just to spoke out the look. All right, now I'm just taking a Real Technique brush and I'm just going to blend that out to make sure there are no harsh edges. All right, next up I wanted a little bit of sparkle on the lid, so I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Hammered, and it's just a really pretty olive green shade with gold glitter in it. Alright, next up I'm going to be taking my favorite eyeliner, it's my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm just going to use this to line my top lash line. And I'll be giving myself a wing today. Alright, now we're going to step away from the eyes for a minute, moving on to the face. For my primer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizing Primer. This is a smoothing primer, and it's going to place this all over my face. Alright, next up to color correct today, I'm going to be using my Sephora Collection Bright Future Color Corrector in the shade Orange slash Deep. And I'm just using this anywhere where I have any hyperpigmentation or any flaws in my skin. Alright guys, and for foundation today, I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. And I'm in the shade 6W, 6W1 Sandalwood. And I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this foundation. I picked this foundation up maybe like 7-8 months ago. And I don't use it that much because I, I don't know, I, I didn't like how it looked on my skin. But now, I, I don't know, it just looks better to me. I've been using it all the time now. So, I, I don't know, I guess we're getting along now. And because I have dry skin, I like to um, blend this foundation out with a blending sponge instead of a brush. And this foundation will dry really quickly, so it's best to work in sections. Alright, next up for my concealer today, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream in the shade D31. And 
and I'm trying this concealer for the first time and I actually really like it. It blends out really nicely. Alright, and before I set that concealer in place, I am going to be cream contouring today. And I'm going to be using my Black Up Contour Stick in shade number 03, medium. And it's going to be using my Morphe G3 to blend that out. Now after I finish blending my contour shade out with the brush, I always like to go over it with a sponge just to make sure everything is seamless and there are no harsh edges. And now I'm going to set up under my eyes and everywhere I highlighted with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up under my contour as well. Alright, now I'm going to take my Real Technique blush brush and I'm just going to dust all that extra powder away. Alright, now to set my contour area, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. And this is just a contour kit that I custom made on her website. And I'm using the shade Carol.
Alright, next up to set my entire face, I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Sorry, Deep Dark. Alright, and moving back to the eyes, I'm going to be using my Rimmel London Eye Cold Pencil in Black. I'm just going to use this to line my bottom lash line. And then I'm pretty much going to repeat the same step on the bottom lash line as I did in the crease. Alright, next up, for my eyelash primer, I'm going to be trying a new primer, and it is the, and it is the D Dior Eyelash Primer. And for my mascara today, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And it's going to add a couple of coats of this to each lash. For my blush today, I'm going to be using another mineralized skin finish, and this is in Taraji Glow, and I have been obsessed with this skin finish. I wish that I would have ordered two, but now they're sold out, so, you know, it's a really big pan, so hopefully I won't run out anytime soon, but I really love this blush. Alright, and next up to highlight, I'm going to be taking my Bobbi Brown Bobbi to Glow Shimmer Brick. And I'm going to be taking the middle strip, which is bronze. I'm going to swirl my brush all around in there and highlight my face. Alright, and next up in that same shimmer brick palette, I'm going to be taking this top strip only and I'm going to use this color to highlight my brow bone. Alright, next up for the lips, I'm going to be using my Shea Moisture Lip Liner in Dark. And for my lips today, I'm going to be using a gloss from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mini Lip Gloss Set for fall, a fall collection, and this is in the shade Amber. Alright, then I'm going to spray my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. Until the next video.